All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. It is time for another review, so say hello to our friends Rin and Stimpy and Powder Toast Man and Log and TV and Choo Choo, and let's get started. Guys, uh, this is my review of the newest Jack Wolf knife. Now, we've already done a first impressions and unboxing, uh, but we're, you know, we're going to focus more on specs and when these are available. Come on, focus. Uh, and also um, comparisons. So this is the Javelina Jack in uh, Camo Carbon Brittany Blue. And guys, these are going to be available at dealers Friday the 17th of uh, February 2023. So that is coming up. I think I'm posting this, oh, I don't know, Thursday or something. Uh, and so the next day. But anyway, the point is they're dropping on February the 17th at 2 p.m. So this is awesome. Uh, so let me just say, uh, Ben continues to, Ben Belkin from Jack Wolf Knife continues to step it up every time. I keep thinking to myself, he's, he's reached the pinnacle, but man, this is right in my top five. You guys will see a video very soon of my top 10, top 11 Jack Wolf Knives, uh, and this is right in the top five. I'm just going to say that. And the reason is these contoured scales, as you can see there, uh, the shape, this beautiful sow belly. Now, this is a sow belly pattern. You do have a single fluted bolster here. And by the way, as usual, you have gray titanium frame with a stainless steel silver um, backspring. And your covers in this case are uh, camo carbon or carbon fiber. This is fat carbon, as they call it, with the Brittany blue color mixed in. Uh, but this is Camo Carbon brand is what I'm trying to say. But that's the covers. And they're cut in there and they're matched to each knife as you can see. Same thing goes when we open this guy up. We'll talk more about walk and talk and stuff. Uh, this is milled to match the blade to the back spring and to the knife itself. Fantastic. These are made in China, of course. Uh, but they are so well done. Just look how beautiful the shape is. When this is, uh, you know, in the pocket, it's just beautiful. Now, uh, let's see how it fits in the provided slip. Now, this one is a little thinner and, and uh, longer, and it has that sort of banana shape. So you can see it starts over here, comes out over there. But what I like about these slips, I, I've had some made but what i like about these is it covers the whole knife because i put other stuff in my pockets and that protects the knife i don't want to get these bolsters unnecessarily scratched up now if i scratch them up while using them but while using the knife okay that's all right um but i don't want to just unnecessarily scratch it up for no reason just me being careless throwing something else metal like a, a leatherman which is usually wrapped up in a in a hank but it comes out during the day so if this is just floating around in my pocket sticking out that much of it it's going to get scratched up by that leatherman micro when it falls out of the the hank that it's wrapped in but that's just me silver hardware all countersunk uh very 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 nicely done now let's talk about you do have a nail nick this sleek shape with this beautiful swedge up here but in my case i just pinch it right at that and it's perfect uh, i just don't like to shred my thumbnail uh, these are strong. I know some of you have maybe stronger thumbnails or something. I don't know. But I just pinch them. Uh, now, this is an S90V clip point blade. Look at that beautiful, beautiful grind, guys. I love the satin finish. It's just so beautiful. The grind lines are gorgeous. Now, it does have Jack Wolf there on the tang and S90V on the tang. And again, everything matches up so well. Now, um, there is, you know... Uh, as usual, there is, um, you know, a corner here, but it's smoothed off and chamfered well enough where in your hand it feels super fantastic and good. I like that Focus is actually agreeing with me today. This is good. Um, watch, it'll go crazy now. But I like how this comes all the way up. And as you can see, the blade, oh, come on, Focus. I just bragged on you, and now you're going to be stupid. Let's get it this way. Come on. Seriously? There we go. All right, so you can see it's centered, and that blade comes all the way out towards the tip that you have 
this uh, back spring comes all the way up like that. So that's really good. You're not going to get that uh, and, and hurt yourself. So really cool. Uh, now walk and talk wise, you can see and hear, I'll be quiet. Spring is very nice. You can see on the clothes how it pops. Very nice. I would call it a uh, six and a half. There, yeah, about six and a half all the way around is what I would call this one. Very, very nice. Now let's talk about uh, more about when these are available and specs, and then we'll do some comparisons. Now there are. Um, five versions, one, two, three, four, five versions available. There's the Fat Carbon Purple Haze. All of the Fat Carbon are $300, $299.99. Havelina Jack, Fat Carbon Purple Haze, Camo Carbon, Carbon Blaze Orange, um, Fat Carbon Dark Matter Green, which is really slick looking too. The Camo Carbon Brittany Blue. So those are the four there. And then the Natural Micarta for $275. 99 so two yeah 274 99 so 275 and these are all available again on the 17th at 2 p.m eastern at dealers his dealer list will be down in the description i will give you the link to jack wolf's website to see about these knives and then i will also give you the link uh to his dealer list down in the description uh, and by the way, thanks to Ben for sending this one out and all the Jack Wolf knives I've seen. He sends them for a review copy, and I really appreciate getting to show these to you guys uh, and have them in my collection. It's it's that simple, but it it literally this it doesn't matter as I do with everything. This is an honest review. It is not uh, you know any other way. That's just how I am. I would not do the video if I felt differently. Um, but I don't. Um, clothes length is 3.78 inches. Blade length is 2.83. Uh, Crucible S90V steel, 2.3 ounces. Blade stock is 0.12 or 3 millimeters. The cutting edge is 2.6. Um, so really, really cool. Let's show some... Uh, by the way, I didn't talk about ergos. Um, so this one here is probably in the top two or three ergonomically of the Jack Wolf knives. Uh, it is, I love the, the drop handle. It gives you that forward grip when, when you're um, using the knife. And by the way, as usual, very thin hollow grind blade. Uh, very, very nicely done. I just love the ergos of this one, though. It just feels so good in the hand. Let's pull some of this off. Uh, so let's go with the very first clip point, uh, the very first knife, I think, if I remember correctly, that Ben did out of the door, uh, out, out of the gate, whatever I'm trying to say, which is uh, the Sharpshooter Jack. Different style of clip point blade, as you can see there. Um, and then down below here, another clip point, I'm going to give you guys uh, the Cyborg. Now you can see there are definitely some uh, very, very similar lines here uh, to the Cyborg. Now the Cyborg is actually very uh, angled. As you can see, there's a lot of angling going on and there's a lot of smoothness going on in the Havilena. But they are uh, somewhat similar. Now you have an uptick in the blade on the cyborg here, whereas it's flat on the top of the um, wow javelina, uh, but that, and that it's stinking clip point is way angrier and more angular on uh, the cyborg, and this one is a little more tamed down in that degree. All right, I'm going to pull the sharpshooter out, and I'm going to give you guys another one that ergonomically is is one of my favorites and show you why they compare favorably, differently but favorably. The K9 is, is definitely near my top, and it it's just compares fantastically uh, with that. So what do you guys think of these? Now, I'll go ahead and do uh, my normal comparisons as well. Uh, for those of you that maybe aren't as familiar or don't have a Jack Wolf knife, maybe you're familiar with the Ontario Rat 1. Uh, and the size of that, or the Ontario Rat 2, and the size of that. So that kind of gives you a good gauge of the size uh, of the Javelina Jack. So again, very, very cool knife. Uh, I am enjoying this one 
very, very much. It is just a great, great knife. So what do you guys think of this one? Is this a model that interests you? Uh, ben has been just killing it with his models. By the way, I didn't really talk about the artwork. We did that in the unboxing, but you've got Jack Wolf there and our Javelina friend there, which is a type of Southwestern uh, United States pig, Javelina Jack. Sean uh, Tiffany just kills it with the artwork. You also obviously have a cloth in here, the pog. Um, where is the pog? I think it's down at the bottom. And the sticker. So just really, really cool job with the artwork. It's just a whole package because you get the slip. Uh, you get all that stuff. Uh, the collectible uh, cans and everything else is just so cool. So there you go, guys. Let's see if I can get this where there's less glare on it. Maybe if I move my light a little bit. There we go. Right there. So that you can still see the, uh, the hollow grind and not get blinded by the shiny blade. But very, very cool, guys. I like this one a lot. Let me know what you think down in the uh, comments. Give me a thumbs up. And again, be checking for these on the 17th at 2 p.m. at your favorite dealer. So thank you guys very much for watching the Knives Fast channel.